Hello everybody, welcome to AeroBB Week 8. We've got Drac Blackclaw and his Lizardman team with Helmet Wolf, the Star Chainsaw human player, who's definitely human and not a goblin, up against Danton with his Necromantic team. Pretty nice Necro team, nice whites, nice fleshy, you know, what serviceable wolves, right? Even even boring wolves are still good players. Uh, Grudge and Grudstep, still still really good players, and wow, that's a brutal pitch invasion. <laughs> pitch invasion that was um, yep so wow oh wow, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good team and unforgiven <laughs> and yeah so this is uh, not the best start for the uh, lizard men here a stupid crocs and four players stunned Saw does nothing. <laughs> what a fucking disaster. <laughs> what an absolute fucking disaster for the lizards. And you know, the lizards have got to get basically super lucky to stand a chance. And they started off getting unlucky. So, n not the best start for them. Interesting, not going after the, uh, or at least not obviously going after the chainsaw. Was he trying to get a pound, get some pressure through? I guess so. Hello, Sata. Yeah, this is looking already pretty horrific. For Drac. One assist foul, wow. That is not what I would have done, but it pays off fantastically well. Look a dog. I would have definitely rolled a double one and got sent off if I tried it, which is why I wouldn't try it. <laughs> but of course, if it's going to work, then it's a great play. <laughs> It's a bit shit, isn't it? Because you're not going to pal him, so... And he could size up to a, like, a worse spot, so I would probably just try to, like, cage here and not done the blitz. Oh! TJ Jackson. Well, I do not know who that is. But, you know, if they want to, um, anybody in within reason is, is welcome. <laughs> maybe not Giles, maybe not Giles from Blood Bowl 3 Discord. I think I, think I wouldn't want him on comms, but uh, <laughs> I'll give most people <laughs> the opportunity. I'm surprised he didn't go after the saw last turn. I would have, I would have wanted to hit the saw just because it's like such an easy removal. Right? It's an easy removal that uh, gets him out of your hair. Hello, Dimmy. No. I said most people I'd be happy to have on con, except Giles from Blood Bowl Three Discord. Oh, one in nine. Like uh, Fymir, didn't it? Remember when Fymir was... Uh, Fymir just randomly did JFW, that was great. Oh wow, one in nine. Rot all. You do, yes, you do. But you still, you're 75% to knock him down. And then when you knock him down, you've uh, got a plus three to the armor, so... This is uh, horrific for Drac here, isn't it? Because instant 2D on the ball with tackle. Yeah, 
<laughs> I failed 100%. I failed 200% rolls in Aero BB. So don't come crying to me with that, Dimmy. <laughs> All I had to do was not attempt a 2 plus. I failed. I failed at this test twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm not bitter and twisted about it though, of course. I haven't just thought about it non stop for like two days or three days. Definitely not. Oh, this is looking absolutely fucked now, isn't it, for Drac? Oh! It's a rando Kaz though. There's no regen. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a wonderful result for Elliot, who I believe hasn't faced Danton yet. <laughs> And I guess everybody who's competing with Danton for a playoff spot as well, or a bye, because, um, wow, what a rando death. Yeah, if only he could have piled on it. <laughs> if only he could have piled on. Wait, he could have done! He only KO'd him, he should have piled on. And that there, everybody, is why you pile on KOs. <laughs> <laughs> that there is why you always pile on chaos to not get smashed to shit by a fucking Croxagor. <laughs> wow. Yes, Timmy, I was I was dead for quite a lot of Among Us. <laughs> is this a oneer on the uh, Saurus? Do the 1D? Yeah, just pal. It was a 1D in an uphill. Zero flips given. Standard necro coaching. <laughs> so predictable, these necro coaches, aren't they? <laughs> ah, I've probably done the same. No reason not to, is it? You've got a reroll. Chance you get lucky. Pretty nice, gets the uh, edge for over. Maybe should have blitzed with this guy, yeah? Just try to roll a 5 or a 6 and then move him around. It's not a great thing to do, but this isn't great odds either, so. See, if, if he blitz with him and Powered, then he could have tagged the, that white, which would then take and tackle away from this neck of the woods. Oh. And if this white was over here, tagged by a Saurus, then okay, you're still getting four dice on you, but this guy could just uh, flip off. <laughs> Flip me. Break tackle one D here. Last reroll. Man, the crocs one D. I guess he's got block. And rolls the one to pick up Jesus. Oh and now he gets surfed. Oh lord. Oh lord. Double surf. <laughs> or triple surf? Let's find out. Just a double in it. Just a double. Mm. 
I think the play was to uh, blitz this guy, right? And then uh, block this one and stuff. But I guess this is, I guess you don't need to double surf, do you? So this is probably better, actually. It, like, he is break tackle, though, isn't he? But yeah, I guess, I guess, okay. Getting the ball on a blocker is better than surfing this Saurus as well. But I would have really wanted to surf this Saurus. <laughs> but I guess, yeah, just be sensible. Be sensible and win the game is definitely words I could afford to listen to, isn't it? Well, I, I've got a feeling both sides are going to feel like losers from this game. Because while this almost seals the win for Danton, losing this guy is going to feel like a loss, isn't it? That is brutal, cars. Yeah, this is the thing, you know, like Elp always says, uh, you know, Blood Bowl is, is zero sum when it comes to fun. Well, it, it's often negative sum, you know, like both... Both people will be sad about this game. Danton's lost his favourite player. And uh, Drax lost the game. <laughs> it's not lost yet, but you know, it's not looking good, is it? Yeah. You know... Both will feel hard done by by the dice, right? Like pitch invasion for uh, for Drac, one D on the ball, powered him, and then for Danton, well, <laughs> his white got killed. So you know. Oh my God! Really hard. <laughs> Oh no! I did look at some replays from the NAF and they weren't working and I was sure that, that the replay system had come in after that. So that does tally with what I was thinking. Oh wow, well there you go, look there's another death. Apple works though. Yeah, there was more than two before, so yeah, it's definitely... Oh my god, that's... <laughs> Why are these so terrible? <laughs> that's so terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Could you imagine being as incompetent as Simon? Oh, they're so bad. It's so bad. Alright. Nine players for the lizards. Still a full 11 for the uh, undead. But without the tackle pommel. <sighs> wow. <laughs> you and I, Kerensky. <laughs> And Giles, <laughs> Giles and uh, Tolmandari. <laughs> There's got to be something seriously wrong with your brain to want to play Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> no offence. Oh, sorry, not no offence. All due respect. That's better. All due respect. Another pitch invasion. Oh, wow, Dub Skulls. I like how both both pitch invasions have absolutely shit on uh, Drac. There we go, there's an instant Kaz. Only a badly hurt, no problem. Oh, this is over now, isn't it? I guess technically there's the there's the super skink. But uh I guess the Super Skink's about to get blitzed. And fouled.
Kind of sucks that you've got to do the block play. Oh, he's not even doing it. I think I'd think I'd have fouled him. <laughs> I think I'd have fouled him. I wouldn't have really been happy about doing it with a block player, but I think I'd have fouled him. Or maybe I'd have, you know, set a rookie on the LOS that, so I could have fouled him with him instead. But then I guess no, you don't know. You don't know that the uh, pitch invasion's happened, right? I think you've got to foul him. I think you've got to foul him. Right? Got to foul him this turn for sure. This can be amazing this turn, mine got. Three dice him. Maybe if you get a pal here. Yep. And then push him back as well. No, so this is this no. No. Hit him from here, push him back into there for a bigger uh, so you know so you can get a big foul in, right? This was uh this was bad. I'm gonna say bad for for Danton, right? Bad for Danton. Maybe not bad for a, an average player, but he could have come round, hit the super skink into here, and then what? One, two, three, four, double G if I had to foul that guy. So I could have just fouled with the wrestler. Three assist foul. Like this edge four guy is the you know one of the few things that. You know, like if you dick around with a handoff or something, he could come in and get it. It's one of the few ways things go wrong. The other one is this guy. So getting a big foul on this guy is all right too, actually. Like break tackle guy can be annoying. So, you know, maybe just go for a big foul on him. But I feel like, you know, if something goes wrong, an edge fall skink can do things, can't it? But maybe it's better to just foul this uh, guy. Might be better to just go for go for 3-0 as well. That's an idea as well, isn't it? Just go for 3-0. Rather than stall out and get it on the right player, just go for a just go for three now. There you go, lovely foul. I guess just rack him up, isn't it? That's a good idea. 44, so he's 7 away and he's 10 away. But he's getting sidestep next, whereas he's getting, like, tackle. So I think I would have probably tried to get them on that dog to get him uh, get him sidestep. Read the sidestep. I think, I think scoring here is a good idea. The worst thing is, of course, if I had gone 1-0 up in my game uh, versus King Boo, if I had gone 1-0 up, then I could have gone 2-0 up quick and then gone for 3-0. I could have probably won that game 3-0 easily instead of drawing it 0-0. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What a dickhead. Soros back. Maybe it won't be three now then. Got ten players now. So there's a chance to have a crack. Gonna be real unlikely to make it two two, but I guess there's a chance, right? You could just score in two turns really quickly, but again, even if he does that, how does he uh how does he get the turnover and stuff?
Oh God, P Diddy. You've got to try for the quick score here, I guess. I guess you've got to try for the quick score. So, like, you know, maybe you should have, uh, you should have, you know, gone heavy one side and then uh, given that side a couple of skinks and then try to uh, get it to them turn one and scoring two because, I mean, there's no point losing 2 1, is there? There's no point, you know, stalling out for a 2 1 loss. got to try and bang it in. ESAP. I'm stuck making one D's. Right, I mean, you didn't have to make a one D, but it's not good. <laughs> draw the power there, didn't he? Flip me. Oh, oh dear. I think move him down to like threaten and then just smash everything else in. Well maybe you don't want to threaten right because you're 2 nil up so but then you do want to go 3 nil up. Interesting actually, interesting dilemma here because you don't want to actually draw. You kind of both want Drac to score quickly because then you can win 3-1 and then you get more SPPs. So in a way you just want him to score quickly. So, yeah, get the wolf down and then blitz in with the tackler. Probably commit the ghoul as well. Honestly, it's probably best to commit the ghoul here forward. Because while that's like the worst player for winning 3 0 or 2 0. It's the best play for winning 3-1 and you want more SPPs, don't you? Like you've won the game here, so you just want you just want to maximize SPPs. Which I really messed up in my uh, in my in my match this week. Boy did I do that wrong. Diced. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> you, <coughs> you can watch it on YouTube. If you don't know about it, you can watch it on YouTube. I'm not bitter and twisted. Can he just run through and hit? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Uh, it's not actually on YouTube yet, Al, but people watching this on YouTube can see it on YouTube. <laughs> you can watch the VOD on Twitch, the biggest game of the season, part two. The biggest game. There was the biggest game versus uh, that there, Phil, and then the biggest game versus King Boo.
This is a rather standard defense. I probably, I probably would have put the ghoul one back just to obviously minimize the chance of him just getting unluckily killed. Because <laughs> he's already tagged, right? The, the, the lizard's already tagged out, so you just have him there. And while he can block him and he can score, you want, again, you want him to score. Because you, know, you want to win 3 1. And you don't want your ghoul to get killed. Hello, <laughs> Calcium. Indeed, yeah. Help me, in my opinion. The best commentator of all time. Yeah, he did. He did. He did indeed. Uh, he did indeed. So there he goes. That's pretty successful for both parties there, that 2 1. And now you can try and make it 3 1. Yeah, good play by Dragon. I, I should have played fucking him. drop kick Jesus. <laughs> That's how I should have played in my in my game, really. I should have just taken the 1 0 at half time. And scored early. What a fool. What a fool. Riot, lose a turn. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Wait, another month again? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Fymir. <laughs> Thank you for staying fantastic for over four years, over 12 full bean pregnancies. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. What a legend. It's actually a little bit dangerous now, right? The riot makes it a little bit dangerous because you don't want to, like, um. You don't want to pass to one of the wolves, fuck it up, and the edge four scores. This is very American football, isn't it, you know? The two guys on the streaks, quarterback, shotgun. <laughs> kind of. He's, he's coming for it. That's the right. That's the right play. Right, get this guy in scoring range. <laughs> wow, find me, you big meanie. I've I've liked American football for a long time. <laughs> yeah, find me a taught me blob. <laughs> And I guess now, honestly, probably the best play is to not even try to score, right? As, uh, as Danton here is probably to run back. And uh, this is maybe a bit too much. Getting this guy forward as well. Now you've got to kind of hold on. <laughs> yeah, and he is, he is just holding on. Yep. As is so often in Blood Bowl, I think that maybe the boring safe play is the correct play. Woo! Sidestep keeps him in contact, but it's, I mean, he's got to be so, so lucky here with a stand firm, like, how on earth does he do this? I don't think, especially with a without a reroll, I don't think he's got much chance at all. 
Oh, you can chain him to there. And then stand up and blitz. Lovely. Lovely. Diced. It's the pow. Killed him. Lovely little play here by Drac. He's got 2D on the ball. Only need saved a reroll. He might have had a shot here. Eh? That was that was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Go Bills. Funnily enough, on American football, I have got uh, Allen and Diggs in my uh, fantasy football team, and uh, Diggs has got me two points this week. <laughs> but Allen's got just enough. I should be winning. I should be winning this week as well. Right. There you go. Good effort. Honestly, good effort by Drac at the end there. Um, you know, his just team just isn't good enough, right? His team just hasn't got the development. Um, and ne neither does Danton's now after losing that white. <laughs> so, yeah, fantastic week for the rest of the league. Honestly, seeing that player go for Danton, that really... Cripples Danton quite a lot. Um, that's going to be very interesting for the playoff picture. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.